Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. Ki hai chal. I hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we're going to see adding spaces to a string is actually an easy problem. Let's see. It's similar to the yesterday's problem. We just have to do the same thing what the problem is saying. It simply says that you are given a zero index to string s and also the array spaces. What they mean is that it describes the indices in the original string where spaces will be added. For example, if I take this specific string, if I put their corresponding indexes also 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and so on and so forth. So at index 5, I have to add a space. Here again, as you can see at index 5, which means I have to add a space here. At index 9, I have to add a space here. So I just have to add a space and I return the ultimate string with spaces. For example, this is a string. I have to add a space. At index 8, I simply go through, at index 8, I add a space. Then 13, I add a space. Then 15, I add a space. And this is my final string which I have to return. Cool. It's pretty simple that we'll do exact same stuff. For example, in this input where I have already put the indexes, what I should do? I know I have to start off again, taking the simple leverage of the inbuilt function i have to take substrings i have to keep on taking substrings and keep on attaching them along with attaching a space i'll take the first substring attach a space next substring attach a space next substring attach a space and so on and so forth what i will do i know i am starting from initial index as zero my initial index is zero i have to take on the elements up till index one Okay, and when I say up to which means this is the last, this is exclusive. So I will take these from the current index up till the index which I have at this location. I'll take this and then I will add a space. Again, space I am representing by underscore, but it is actually a space. Then next I will move on from index one up till the next index five. Again, make sure five is exclusive. I will take it, which means I will take it. I will say code. Then again, go on to 5 up till next index, which is 7. 7. Take it. I will take in. Okay. Take in. Again, after placing 1, I am placing a space. After placing 1, I am placing a space. Okay. Which was a 7. Up till next index, which is 9. Okay. Take it. Which means placing in and then space and then py space. I placed it. And then I will simply move on to 9. Okay, 9. But then as I move on to 9, as you can see, the next index, it has reached the end. So I have this thing as dangling. So I'll simply take the last substring from this to end, which is THON. And that's my answer. Exactly same what I've done in code also. I started off from my last ID. As you can see, I as in the very beginning, if you remember, I started off from my last ID, which is 0. And also this is specific ID, which I'm iterating on my space array. So I will simply take it ID, last ID, and then iterate on my spaces from my last ID up till ID, ID is exclusive here. I will take it append in my result, which is a string, and then also append a corresponding space. I will keep on going until I can go in the very end. You remembered that one string, last substring will, will remain, that I'll simply add it, convert it to a string because right now it's a string builder, convert it to a string and then simply return it. Same goes for C++ also. Although the actual, because see, this question is not asking you to leverage the inbuilt function. If it is asking, it's actually pretty easy. Although you can solve it, it's, it, it is completely solvable, but Usually these, these kind of problems are actually trying to judge your DSA skills, not your inbuilt function skills. So if you did not have the opportunity to use the inbuilt function, then how will you use it? Simple. Just keep on appending the characters, right? What I will do? I know I am starting off from this index. I will simply have one of my pointers which will keep on iterating on all these characters and then one index which will iterate on my space okay so i have built i will build my result string in the very beginning okay i will put up i i just want to make sure that i am taking in consideration the 
index at which I have a space. At that index, before putting the actual character, I will put a space and then put the character. Okay, which means, okay, I will simply keep on iterating on both S and my spaces. Wherever I will find the index, which I, where I have to place a space, I will place a space and then I will place my character. That's the only change I have to do, which means I will iterate on I. Then, okay, move on because it is zero, it is one. So I can still move on. Okay, now it is one, it is one, which means I have to place a space first. I will place a space first. Then I will place a C, which is the current character, and then I will move on. Now, as I placed a space, I will move on both the characters. Now, simply O. Oh, oh, it's uh, it's 2 is not equal to 5. Simply keep on going. Okay, I'll keep on going. Then I'll simply again place a D. 3 not equal to 5. Okay. Then again 4 not equal to 5. Okay. Then 5 equal to 5. Oh. Firstly, place a space, then place a I, and then move on both of them. I will simply move on both of them. Thus, I'll simply keep on repeating the exact same stuff and build my answer by using simply two pointers. So I take, I took a I, I took a J, N and M are the length of the corresponding strings and array. Then again, as you can see, the right side is the C++ code, exactly same. I went on and iterated on my strings, this string. For j, again, j should be less than m and if my i is equals to the space of j, that specific value, I will firstly add a space and I will also move my j. But no matter what, no matter what, I will always have to add my character at s of i. So I will simply add that in my result and I will move my i at every step and I will keep on repeating this specific loop. Right? and ultimately return my string. Again, uh, in Java, you have string builder because uh, you cannot keep on adding things in your simple string. So you have to convert it to a string back if you take the string builder. Cool. And thus ultimately, as you can see, in both the approaches, you simply went on to all the elements or all the characters of input string S and number of spaces. No extra space used. Again, I'm not referring the space for answer. This is no extra space used. And same way here also, it's again two pointers and going on to all the characters of a string and the spaces and also no extra space used. I hope you guys got it. Again, it's pretty simple. And yeah, bye-bye. Take care.